Hello world, Tom Tinker DIY here and in this video we're going to look at this laptop battery uh, which was found on Amazon for a little over $14 and if we take a look here uh, this laptop battery is 9 cells and it runs at 11.1 1, volts so that means it should be a 3S battery pack uh, and that has uh, then three cells then that are going to be in parallel to create uh, 7800 amp hour and if we do some quick math um, that means that this battery is going to be 7800 divided by 3 is roughly 2600 milliwatt hour which I think is a bit ambitious uh, now mind you that these batteries were um a dollar sixty each for those nine cells uh so if we get even eighteen hundred or two thousand or ideally twenty two hundred milliamp hour out of this battery uh per cell then for a dollar sixty each and just grabbing them from amazon um you know it's not a bad way to try to source batteries for a small project like this uh, portable mini power wall which is going to use a total of 60 cells yes there's some work involved to tear down uh, one of these battery packs which is what we're actually going to be doing in this video so um, this is from Terra Power Energy made in China so um, not sure what kind of cells to expect in this uh, and if we open up the box here we have some kind of happy thing, unhappy, telling, I guess, giving them feedback on how it's working. We'll toss that aside. Got some foam, but that may actually be useful later on. So we'll set that aside. Here's another piece of foam. Let's keep that. And the battery comes in a static bag. And we'll open up this plastic bag. And this is what it looks like. Uh, and again, 11.1 .1 volts, 7800 milliamp hour. And well, I have no interest of actually trying to use this battery pack as is. So let's see if we can find a way to break into it and get these cells out of it. Just giving it a good twist breaks a lot of things loose. And pull up some of this stuff. And Have our cutters here because we'll be using those quite a bit. Pull that off, and I'm not sure what else is in here to try to. What else can we do here to get this open? Okay. So I'm trying not to take a uh, screwdriver right into the center of everything because in theory these do actually hold some power. So we'll just kind of carefully try to pry our way. There we go. And I guess with this now exposed we'll go ahead and cut off the balance board. Oh no, cut. There we go. Set that aside, cut the trash. Um, if you're doing this, you may want to wear some gloves. Uh, so let's see here. Can we just pull these out? Uh, oh, there's some sticky stuff holding it in there. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. Just a little bit of persistence. And that came apart pretty pretty quickly and easily. There we go. So there are the cells already loose from this $14 battery pack and uh, let's see if we can 
loosen this up a little bit more and try to get the individual cells harvested here oh that was causing a quick short um, do be careful when you're working with these and hopefully we didn't just damage the batteries but we will find out when we go to test them um, let's see here see if we can carefully pry off some of these welded tabs and we're just going to take pliers and just kind of do kind of like a rolling action uh, against the base of the cell and they typically come up pretty easily from there that didn't do too bad of a job do the same thing on the other side there we go uh oh got a little piece that came off and just roll that off there we go and you it's got some really icky tape stuff and we'll have to clean those off and better better effort here a little a little later outside of the video all right so we got three loose cells and let's get the rest going here um, okay there we go there we go and this side's already pretty loose just pull that off pull off this last little piece here again just trying to roll it off the cell to, to break the uh, the spot welds that they did it makes it really easy just to kind of pry and get um, uh, the fulcrum I guess or leverage um, that way just by prying against the battery just rolling it up uh, occasionally it doesn't quite work so cleanly so you gotta try it from the other direction and that tends to work out alright there so keep working we're almost done we've almost got all nine of these cells harvested loose this plate is just breaking up into smaller pieces unfortunately there we go that's a good piece get this last little bit here there we go and flip it over Ooh, this tape is sticky uh, we'll just get under here roll it is number seven and number eight and number nine all all loose now again there's some cleanup that's gonna have to happen here and We'll take care of some of this here in a little bit later okay so we're now looking at a closer look at the labels here on the cells and it says 3.7 volts at 7.4 watt hours um, it doesn't have any other markings on them um, but let's go ahead and just get these lined up and we'll do a quick voltage check just to make sure that they are all at least healthy for right now and that none of them uh, are have drained for whatever reason and oh the sticky stuff is annoying at the moment these are things you'll definitely have to contend with if you decide to harvest uh, used laptop batteries or in this case new laptop batteries um, for you know replacement parts there we go there's all nine cells lined up and we will grab our voltmeter turn it over to DC power and we'll get this stuff pulled out so we can use it. Okay, so we've got the, the voltmeter here set up for DC volts. And we're going to go ahead and check these cells to make sure that um, none of them are dead. First one checks out at 3.61. Number two is at 3.55 number three is at 3.62 number four is 3.62 number five is 3.56 this one's 3.66 number seven is 3.55 number eight is 3.66 
and the last one is also 366. So all of these cells are relatively balanced within a tenth or so. Um, so that's good to know. And then of course they're all also very healthy. It seems like these are sitting at about a storage voltage. So they're definitely not fully charged, which is a good thing. Um, cause you don't want to keep these batteries at full, full charge for extended periods of times if possible. Um, but, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get these cells cleaned up and we are going to start testing them here with the Opus BTC 3100 charger and this charger will go through and charge each of these cells to full voltage which is 4.2 volts for each cell and we can do this four at a time independently um, so they can be at different states of charge or different capacity cells and this charger will handle all of that uh, for each channel by itself just fine without any issues um, and then it will once it's once each cell is fully charged when we're using the test mode it will then go through and do a discharge cycle at one amp and it will bring down each cell individually down to three volts flat 3.0 volts and it will measure the amount of milliamp hours of battery that it drains out of the battery as it does that and then it will display it here on the screen um, to tell you what that cell's capacity is. When it's done discharging it will go ahead and give it a full charge for you before it completes its cycle and then notifies you that it's it's full. So we're going to go through and uh, test all nine of these which means I'll have to, to do at least two groups and have one in a separate group for when, probably when I go to try to test these new 36 uh, volt packs that I got off of eBay that I talked about in the last video. Um, and so once we get a chance to test these out, get some data from it, um, in the next video we will probably tear down those packs and show what that process looks like. We'll take a closer look at those batteries, we'll do the same set of testing, and then we'll follow up to talk about how these cells look for voltages, how they look for current capacity, uh, or milliamp hour capacity, and how they look for how much how many amps that they can uh, sustain luckily in these in this application I'm not going to be demanding a very high amperage load per cell with the way that I've got these power systems set up so that's good uh, but we'll still look at you know how far along are we actually going to be uh, how demanding are we going to be of each of these cells so um, stay tuned and we will get back on the next episode looking at those packs and then we'll be soon talking about battery shortly after that in the meantime, here is a time lapse of going through the test cycle on these new purple cells that just came out of this Chinese Amazon battery pack. Catch you guys next time.